What's up, y'all? This is Denzel Whitaker, and I'm starring in Wes Craven's latest horror film, My Soul to Take. But I mean enough about me <laughs> and my new film, My Soul to Take, which is out right now nationwide. I'm here to tell you five of my favorite scary movies of all time. Coming in at number five is one of the most iconic zombie flicks ever, Night of the Living Dead. The original, of course. I mean, like, what's scarier than being trapped in a Pennsylvania farmhouse with a bunch of zombies trying to get in to kill you? These ungodly creatures. The number four spot goes to the scariest hockey mask wearing killer, Jason Voorhees and Friday the 13th. I mean, let's face it, Jason is a bad man. Man. I mean, he's even been out of space. Nothing beats, though, his ass whooping that he put on those kids over at Camp Crystal Lake. I mean, talk about holding a grudge, you know what I'm saying? Before Twilight, before Vampire Diaries, and before True Blood, there was one vampire that put the fear into the hearts of everyone who laid eyes on it. Black Dracula. Black I mean, what, y'all thought I was gonna say Brad Pitt in an interview with a vampire? Man, please, come on, Brad ain't got nothing on Blackula. Horror. Blackula. Dracula's soul brother. And speaking of black dudes, let's not forget Candyman, the number two movie on my list. I mean, you know that dude appeared when you said his name five times in front of a mirror, right? Candyman. Candyman. Check this out. Candyman, 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 Candyman. Whoa! There are no monsters. You brought me here. And coming at you at number one, a man with questionable fashion sense an interesting manicure and bad skin. Freddy Krueger and Nightmare on Elm Street, which is, of course, no coincidence that also Wes Craven had written and directed Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, which he had also written and directed a film that I'm starring in, but you already knew that, my soul to take. You killed people, but for the black top, and it makes me Not that I can remember. That's it for the countdown. I appreciate you guys kicking it with me. I want to send a shout out, a big thanks to Hip Hollywood for letting me come and hang out in the studio. You know what we do. Uh, it's been a pleasure. 